Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video, so we're going to try and get the tolerance on Rock and Roll Star by Oasis. So this is a fairly straightforward sound like really, it's just about getting the overdrive textures right. So there's three different guitar parts, two rhythm tracks and then the main lead line. So I play one rhythm track on this ES335 with Monty's PAF humbucking pickups, you could use any Gibson humbucking style guitar. And for the other track I used my 58 reissue Les Paul also with Monty's PAF pickups. Okay so there's two pedals that I was using for this, I was using the Revival Drive by Origin FX. This is a great amp in a box style pedal that covers Vox times, Marshall times and it's by far one of the best that I've played. So I had that set as like a bass overdrive time for all the parts, it's kind of like just a tiny bit of crunch. And then to get the overdrive texture just right for each part I was using the Saturn 6 Harmonic Booster by Spaceman FX. This is a boost pedal but also introduces a lot of harmonic texture via the drive control and this just ends up pushing the revival drive a bit more overdrive in, gives it nice thick texture like we hear on the original song. The amp I'm using today of course, like usual, is my old silver face twin reverb and that's been recorded by the boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander. So before we get started I just want to quickly show what the Saturn is actually doing to the sound. So the ES335 straight into the revival drive sounds like this. <laughs> And then if we boost it with the Saturn, exactly the same settings that I actually used for the ES335 part, it sounds like this. I had the Revival Drive set exactly the same for every part, so we had settings like this. And then the Saturn had different settings depending on the part, which we'll see when I isolate the intro song parts. Okay, so the first part we're going to look at is the rhythm track with the ES335. So I pull the intro song isolated so you can hear and see exactly what's going on. Again, the Reviver Drive settings are exactly the same for every part, so I'm only going to show the Saturn settings on screen. So the ES335 part isolated sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to look at the Les Paul rhythm track. So again, the Revival Drive settings are exactly the same and we just changed the settings on the Saturn a little bit. So the Les Paul rhythm track isolated from the intro song sounds like this. Again, you'll see the settings of the Saturn 6 on screen. <laughs> Okay, the last part that we need to look at is the main lead line. Again, this was done on the Les Paul. Again, the Revival Drive settings are exactly the same. We just had different settings on the Saturn just to boost it even more. So I'll pull the lead part isolated from the intro song and you'll see the settings of the Saturn on screen as well.
So there we go. That was a quick little look at how to get the tyres on Rock and Roll Star by Oasis. The Revival Drive giving us kind of our core amp tone and then the Saturn really boosting it and giving us a great texture throughout. The Saturn's drive texture is really subtle, but it really does add a lot to the mix. It got us that one step closer to sounding like the original song. So let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future had sound like videos you'd like to see me do. There's also links in the description to every piece of gear that I use. They are affiliate links, they help support my channel even further and I'd really appreciate it if you go and check them out. If you like that how to sound like video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, tutorial videos and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry and thanks for watching.